and you said, we deserve to see the Mueller report. Right, right. We've, we've seen it, or, or most of it. Right, right. Um, what, you know, what, what well, I, start with the second sentence. Let me read you the second sentence. I, mean, you, I don't know if you've had a chance to look at it. The Russian government interfered in the 2016 presidential election in a sweeping and systematic fashion. Right. Second sentence. Yeah, well, that is the main story. And it's a story that uh, needs to be uh, told and retold over and over again because we were the subject of a foreign adversary's attack, an attack on our election, an attack on our sovereignty, an attack on our democracy. And you can try to figure out everything that did happen, and we're a long way from knowing, because we need to get the full report, the unredacted version, uh, and certainly the Congress deserves to get it. But I think it's fair to say uh, that this is not just about a reckoning with the recent past. This is about what is going on today and the threats to our next election, uh, to our defense as uh, a nation. So, Edward, I think the report is long, and it obviously takes time to wade through it, but especially for uh, this group, it's something that every American who cares about uh, holding our adversaries accountable, looking to prevent what happened from ever happening again, should take the time to go through. Uh, and I'm really of the mind that um, the Mueller report is part of the beginning. It's not the end. Uh, maybe as Churchill famously said, it's the end of the beginning. Uh, because there's still so much more that we should know and that we should act upon. And obviously that's uh, what the Congress is trying to figure out what to do right now.